Jim and David were talking wow. about Goldman a moment ago. Doing some reorg, the bank's now calling its four main segments global markets, investment banking, asset management, and consumer and wealth management. Changes come just before Q4 earnings, as well as its first ever investor day later this month. A big page one piece in the journal about internally, they believe shares should be trading higher. Uh, and as a result, they'll be expanding some uh, disclosure, some yeah, metrics. They're trying to present more transparency. And a lot of it just makes sense in the face of it when you consider things uh, in terms of where they're moving certain things, lending uh, to corporate clients, where does that really belong, uh, you know, derivatives related to advisory and underwriting. Again, these things uh, had been designated in sort of segments that really don't exist so to speak. And so they've set themselves up with segments that reflect how they run the business um, in the hopes of presenting more transparency. Nobody can argue with that. They're giving the analysts a week heads up, essentially, to sort of get comfortable with it before they report earnings. But, Carl, as you point out, important day is going to come on the 29th with their investor day. And even though the stock, Jim, has done well, I think there is still frustration on the oh. part of many members of the organization who rely on that stock to a certain extent uh, and in the investor base overall. So much change has been pushed on the organization by its senior management team, led by David Solomon. Right. There is an argument to be made that the last few years under former CEO Lloyd Blankfein, the organization had become some, somewhat sclerotic. Uh, and, sclerotic. And, but the question is, when you push that much change and you don't see a result, do you bring even more pressure from shareholders? This consumer division, consumer wealth management, when I was in the wealth management business at Goldman, if you brought in anyone less than $10 million, they told me, don't waste my time. David, what's it now? $10? <laughs> it's a lot lower, as they do focus to a certain extent on consumer. Um, How about how opaque they are about the card? But I've done a lot of work on the card. The Apple card, yes. which Goldman is the... Right. And it is doing very, very well. So well that one day the people behind the card think that it may have to be spun out. And yet, here's the tangible book, 210. Ten times earnings. This is Goldman Sachs, not Goldman Sachs. But when do you believe investors step up and start to show the willingness to pay a premium again that they once did for the well, franchise? I think that the, that you have to believe that these other business, that Marcus, they got to change that name. Just I'm uh, sorry, Lloyd. I know you like the name Marcus, but I think you have to see a steady increase. No more episodic quarters. Just steady as she goes increases. Then you can start getting a, when you're coming, get a JP Morgan loan. Right.